Good afternoon, everyone. We'd like to welcome Chef Benjamin Hardy here on behalf of the Tornan Society, pastry chef here at the, uh, the Chef's Academy. At this point in time, I would like to have Ivan Medina come up, and we would like to present Chef uh, Hardy with our Tornan Society pin. Uh, Tornan Society is the gourmet student union here at the school. The only requirements are is that you pass your first semester of classes, um, successfully completed, completed your serve safe, and then take oath of membership. So without any further ado, Chef Hardy, thank you and welcome. All right, thank you, thank you. If you guys want to come over here, I'll, I'll walk you through what I've got going. So the plated, the plated dessert that I'm going to be doing involves tempered chocolate, ice cream, we have a European tort and um, marshmallows. Okay, so we'll start with the marshmallows. If you can stand, you can stand right here. So we have um, water, sugar, and glucose. Okay, and we're going to cook this to um, 115 degrees Celsius. When it reaches 115 degrees Celsius, we'll start our uh, our egg whites. Okay, it's basically a a meringue with gelatin. Okay, so there's three types of meringues. There's a French meringue, or a common meringue, uh, a Swiss meringue, and Italian meringue. So this would be classified as an Italian meringue, which will whip our egg whites and pour a sugar syrup into it. Bloom our gelatin. Now this is a a weighed out. This is a specific amount of water for our gelatin. So uh, normally when you would bloom your water, you need to use cold water. Cold water so it doesn't dissolve your gelatin, but in this case it doesn't matter the temperature of the water. The full amount of water will be used in the recipe. So. so the gelatin that we're using today is a leaf gelatin and it will absorb all the water and become like spaghetti, kind of, really soft. So we'll let it bloom in here. So that can soak. One thing that's very important for your meringues or whatever you flavor your marshmallow um, to, keep, uh, to keep in mind is what type of flavor you have based on its fat content. Because this, lo and behold, is always going to be, or always will reject fat. So if ever fat comes in contact with your meringue, your volume is killed. So you need to keep in mind, if you do make marshmallows, your flavors are almost, you can come up with any flavor you want as long as it doesn't have a, a fat content. You can use extracts. You can, we're going to whip this until it's cool to the touch, and then we'll transfer it. So the tempered chocolate that I'm, the chocolate I'm using is a dark chocolate. And um, the tempering process is uh, basically you're raising and lowering and raising chocolate. You're raising and lowering the temperature of the chocolate to emulsify the, the fat in the chocolate, basically a crystallization. So the temperature that we're going to use is in Celsius. It's a little bit more precise, but I'm heating it to uh, 50 degrees Celsius. And we are, we are right there. So. so the chocolate that we started off with is about 50 degrees Celsius. So this process, you pour about 75 percent, 66 to 75 percent of your chocolate directly on the marble. And the idea is to bring down the mass of your temperature using this chocolate. And the remaining chocolate in this bowl will slowly bring the chocolate back up. Okay. So I'm going to need you to do me a favor. We have this one. You're going to keep shooting this chocolate. You're going to keep shooting this chocolate 
um, until it reaches about 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. This technique that I'm going to use now is just to put the chocolate back into the bowl. So I get a line of chocolate. I'm going to use just a separation to keep the chocolate from sliding down the edge of the table. Okay. If I just try to slide it all in one big mass, uh, there's going to be you know a, you know half the chocolate or whatever. So this is just to keep it clean in constant motion. So. You guys can see the vanilla bean, okay? So right now, so this is just shaping and time until you have your marshmallow, which it takes about uh, 10, 15 minutes maybe to set up. And for this plate specifically, I've baked uh, some creme brulee, and from that baked creme brulee, I've uh, I piped it inside of each marshmallow and then dipped them in chocolate. So we have this process here. After I cut it, you end up with this product right here. So I've taken my scissors and I've just cut, and you can see the cut there. And then I've just filled it with a pastry bag, and then this will be part of the plate. Okay. And as the chocolate seizes from the ice, If my, if my chocolate is tempered properly, should just peel right up off the ice. So this is just a, a filigree or a type of plate design that um, it's very easy if you just play around with the chocolate. You can do all kinds of designs. The best way to practice is on the table and just draw. Like, but uh, you can practice your writing. You can practice your filigree. The idea, the best way to do drawing or writing with chocolate is in a paper, a parchment paper bag, because the, the end is solid. What we're going to do is just a very thin, just a very thin Some dots here. Okay. So you can see that my bag constantly touches the plate, so I don't necessarily have to free hand or let the chocolate fall. I can move my bag wherever I want. A European cake differs from an American cake based on how many layers or, or it's built specifically. But today we have uh, a chocolate genoise with um, layers of ganache, uh, dacquoise, raspberry jam, and chocolate mousse. So anytime you assemble a dessert for a restaurant or a, a hotel function, anytime you'd have more than one or up to 150 or 300, you want to move with some sort of fluidity. So first you sauce all your plates, then you put one portion down. You don't want to do one plate at a time. Um, we'll place our chocolate. And there is some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream in the freezer there in the back on the top shelf. If you want to get that for me. Well, we'll place a scoop of the ice cream right in. And our the key thing for a plated dessert for a restaurant or for a, uh, or for a, a large function is to create a mirror image of everything. The same shape, the size. So what we have is we have a, a European um, or French torte with layers of chocolate cake, taquoise, ganache and chocolate mousse, raspberry jam, vanilla bean ice cream and chocolate basket and a vanilla bean marshmallow with a creme brulee filling dipped in white chocolate. So, enjoy.